I need some more subwoofers, apparently. So the Trinov guy was like, how many subwoofers do you have? And I was like, one. He's like, can you get three more? I was like, uh, I may, maybe. And he's like, yeah, if, you know, we want you to do this comparison with the processors, we want you to have waveforming. And so the minimum for waveforming is two subwoofers up front, two in the back. So, yeah. Very cool. Um, Look forward yep. to that. I saw you just yep. did a uh, video about Trinov, right? Oh, speak of the Whoa. devil. <laughs> yeah, you did a video about the Trinov, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. curious. So, a few things. I want. I want to yeah. know. You know, just tell me straight. Just tell me straight up, like we're talking, no camera, right? No, no podcast. And I'm like, huh? bro. So, like, honestly, what what do you think about the waveforming, like? How was it? I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> is it doing what it's supposed to be doing? I don't know. It sounded no. cool in there. <clears throat> that's that's all I really know. So the best way like, I can describe it was... Did it sound crazy? Like you've never heard that type of bass before? Or like... I did, yes. In, in, like, in, in the Lucy clip, I because I've watched Lucy plenty of times. And I used to watch it all the time for the um, TV reviews at that end, that specific scene at the end. When she's in the black dress, you got this white background. So I'm always watching that scene when I'm reviewing TVs. And dude, the bass, I've never heard bass like that before. I've never heard that scene have that much bass when she's like, have you watched the movie yet? Yeah, dude. I haven't watched the whole movie, just the scene that you talk about. <laughs> okay, so when she's doing the thing where she's and like the slowing down of that has a ton of bass. Holy crap. I think in the video it might have clipped the um I think the volume might have clipped in the explosion on, part because it sounded yeah on the on the yeah. um, binaural mics because it sounded kind of weird. You gotta but, do uh, my in, on the on the DJI. Say again for loud stuff, you gotta do like minus six when you plug oh, in the, Yeah, well, I didn't know how it was gonna yeah. go, you know. Um and I wanted to try and get so the reason I did all these binaural recordings, I still have a few more. Um I can tell you which rooms right now, like they're all ready to like go. I just I have new uh, thumbnails. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Them. They have all the waveforming. You got to hear it, right? Not everybody yeah. gets to go and hear waveforming. Sure. Uh, they had, a, I think, eight subs in the front, six in the back. Like six in the back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous amount of subs, right? And this is what you do. You have you've heard normal subs. You've heard lots of rooms. Um, you know, real assessment, right? I think the whole point of that is I think the point of it is you're going to have exactly the same experience in every chair. I was only in the one chair. Mm. I was like in the middle off to the right a little bit. And from where I was, it sounded great. So somebody um, made a good point on your in the comments of your video. They said they should have just done a sweep of the bass like, uh -huh. ooh, to show that there's no dips in the response. And yeah. then, and then have people move around, that, yeah. move around, and then see like, oh, it's consistent the whole way. And that's and that's like some of the issues, I suppose, with with these kinds of demos, right? Because they only have a certain amount of time, and they mm -hmm. want to get through all the people. Like they have their video on how the room was made and all that kind of stuff, and all the speakers and subs and stuff. So it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like they want to get through all of that. Right. Excuse me. Well, you know, well, and then highlights. Like, and stuff. How do you know what's good or what's bad? Right. What reference do you have to say like, oh, that's the best bass I've ever heard compared to what? You know, is there a bass so, track? There is another in. So I have another so, um, Focal and Sony demo. I have the JVC and Gramani systems demo. God, should I do one for the. Sony projectors. I don't know. And then there's the Storm Audio demo. Now, Matt Trinkling from Storm Audio saw me like the very last day. He's like, hey, I know that guy. That's that Techno Dad guy. I was like, what? I turn around. I'm like, what's going on? I was like, oh. He said, hey, you got to go see our room. And I'm like, which one is it? He's like, it's the big one. It's called the Widowmaker. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So I guess it was like Ascendo has like new subs and new speakers all up in there and uh they did that same music track in the trinov one and they're using dirac art 
Mm -hmm. Um, And I got that demo twice. So from what I can remember of that song, they sounded almost identical. Right. Um, And and here we are again with the same situation where can we get the same? I wish I could have. Is that Lucy one? Is Lucy part in there? Let me see. I'm going to check it out. Well, so here's here's the thing, right? That's a very expensive room. They were using all flagship per listen speakers, trend of all. Mm-hmm. It just, they went all out, right? <clears throat> and so your reaction to me doesn't seem like it's either it's either you're just so used to hearing good sound that you're like, yeah, it sounded sounded good, or is it? You know, I guess I would expect you to be like, oh, my God, I've never, oh, my God, like, you know, just drooling over this yeah, whole thing. I, you know, I think that's the problem. I don't think uh, there's, I don't think it's, it would ever be like that. Um, yeah. You like, think people are just like, excitable? Some other, other people that I see, they just look like they're just drooling over this thing, you know. Oh my God! These new speakers. Look at all this curve. Look at the curvature. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean like I have, I have I have RBH speakers here. Woo! Oh, yeah. Wow. You know. Yeah. But uh, they're gonna you look didn't... pretty awesome. Are they gonna? You didn't have the full mouth open reaction. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, is that is that just because is that just because that's not how you typically react to things, or I'm just trying to figure it out, right? Uh, I, to me, I only uh, react. You've seen me react to things. Like everybody loves my reactions, and even the guy from Perlissa and the like CEO guy he, outside, the, he's like, "Okay, so what do you think?" And I was like, "Well, I mean, sounded good. <laughs> like there wasn't anything wrong with it." Uh, and then I just I ended up just enjoying the movie, right, right. Um, yeah, okay. I I have to hear them for myself, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm sure if I spent more time with it and tested it out, I might I might be drooling over just the uh, the nerdy part of it, like oh the, how it's done that they can do this particular thing that right. most people right. might not even notice. You know, you have a bunch of people in your movie theater. They're just impressed that you have a movie theater to begin with. And so the fact that, you know, some seats have bass and, you know, it's not even. I don't think anybody would notice except for the owner. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but I'm, you know, if you want the best of the best and they're able to provide that, I think that that's what you're you're getting. Yeah. You know, make sure to check out our audio only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi-fi or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for Daily Hi-Fi.